everyone, it's April here and today I've got something a little bit different. I drew this roller derby girl a few days ago. Um, I don't know why, I just really wanted to draw a girl with skates. And I found this really cool reference of like Snow White roller derby girl. So I changed it up a little bit and I uh, sketched it out. But I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do it in my new acrylic wash or on um, Procreate because I've really been enjoying Procreate lately. So I decided to do both. So here are the swatches of the paints. I got these colours from watching um, Arla Bean's video on gouache, it was a gouache tutorial and I really loved the colours that she used so I picked some of those colours and a couple of colours that I liked myself. I transferred the image to my sketchbook which is a More Skin Art Plus that I'm using right now and I've got this flathead brush and a skinny brush. And this is my first time using these gouaches, gouaches, gouache eye. Uh, so I kind of just went straight into it. I decided to use them from the tube and just use the colors as they are because I didn't want to like waste a whole bunch. And I don't know, I just really love the colors. So I wanted to see what I could do with them. I did think the skin color looks a little bit uh, the Simpsons y because it's quite yellow, but it dries into a quite a nice, like, really light yellow cream color. So I did the skin layer in my sketch and then I actually moved on to Procreate and the thing that I really liked about Procreate is I could change the legs around a little bit because I realised I had drawn them a little bit too short. So that's one good thing about digital is that you can just move things around really easily. And I started with the line work which I always do when I do digital art. So I hope this video isn't going to be too crazy. I do switch back and forth between the two different things just to kind of show you what I'm doing. And I also swatched all of my colours from my gouache and made a colour palette in Procreate which was super handy. They weren't exactly the same colours but they were pretty close. And then switching back to the gouache, I'm using the flat brush to do the hair and I found that this flat brush left really really lovely like um, smooth matte finishes unlike the little brush which was quite textured obviously because it's a little little brush but I couldn't only use that flat brush in larger areas. I really want to do for my next gouache thing like something that doesn't have so much detail so I can really practice using the different opacities and blending things together instead of just kind of like plopping the flat colours on. But for a first piece, this was quite fun just to kind of see what I'm working with. And the swatches look really cool on the page. When I started putting them together, I was very confused as to how to use them because a lot of the colours are really bright. And I actually did the entire thing in Procreate first which lets you kind of change the colours around really easily. So I actually already had the colour palette figured out by the time I got to the gouache, which was very handy. So these are the acrylic gouache, which means when they dry, you can't uh, re-wet them, unlike traditional gouache, which is why I'm using it out of the tubes. And then back into Procreate, I did take a few screenshots of the entire process, but my iPad didn't save them all which is really unfortunate. But I do have this little like close up here where I'm just sketching out a few things. And that's my color palette there that you just saw pop up that I made. And I was tempted to use the gouache brush from Procreate because I do have a gouache brush, but I stuck with my pencil just because it's comfortable and I've really been enjoying like sketching my colors out to get that texture. So I brought these gouache paints last week. I actually had a bit of bad news last week. I got back from my holiday in Barcelona and my boss told me that our office was closing down. So I'm out of a job currently. So uh, that day that I found out the news, I decided to spend 74 pounds on gouache paints because that's how I roll. Probably not the best decision, but I just wanted to cheer myself up a little bit and it kind of worked. So right now I'm currently working at home during the day on my portfolio, on my showreel, and then I'm going to be looking really hard for jobs next week. 
because um, I'm actually going on a really big holiday to South Africa in April and it's come at a really bad time to be out of work. But yeah, it's an opportunity to find a new job and, you know, further my career, I guess, meet new people, which is always fun. It is a bit stressful, but at the end of the day, like you can't really change what happens. You can just kind of go forward and hope for the best. So many of you probably don't know what I do. I'm a 3D artist by day. I also do motion graphic stuff, um, some video editing, things like that. So that's kind of the work that I'm looking for. I would also really love to get more into illustration in my day job, but I don't think right now that I have like the skills to pay the bills. So I'm just gonna stick with what I know. And then back in Procreate, I made this awesome gradient hair, which is very easy to do in digital, not so easy to do in um, wash, as I found out. I think I need a lot more practice with that. And I also added a funky background here, which I didn't do in my sketchbook because I didn't really have much space and I didn't want to like completely fill up the page with colour. I think it's quite OTT as it is. And then finishing off my gouache sketch with the outline, uh, when I get to this part I realise I have made the girl cross-eyed, which uh, I wasn't meaning to do, but there it is. So I always finish off with liner. I was thinking about making this a line line artless sketch but I don't think I'm brave enough for that yet and I also wasn't brave enough to um, pick up a paintbrush and here I'm erasing her eyes and trying to fix them I did fix them they look okay now and one thing that I really like about using these wash paints was how smooth you could go over with the pencil I did try in my swatches um, different pencils and also gel pens and um, fine liners and stuff and everything worked really well with gouache as long as it's not too thick otherwise I found that it could kind of like scrape a line through the paint but this is so much nicer than kind of like trying to use it on acrylics or other kinds of paint that's like a little bit more shiny and you can't really get the pigment of the pencil on there so I'm definitely looking forward to doing some mixed media pieces in the future And that's the finished sketch. So this is the gouache one, which has a few anatomy issues, but overall I think the gouache like dried really nicely and has a lovely texture. And then moving on to the digital version here, which is a little bit more polished. You can tell me what one do you like best. I know which one I like best, but I'm not gonna let you know. You can guess though. But these are them together. And that was my little gouache digital painting roller derby experiment. So if you enjoyed watching that, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I do videos every week and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.